welcome friends to excel beginners and advanced tips friends in our petrol pump management software i promised you to operate all the forms you can see here i have created 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 numbers of forms for the management of petrol pump business and friends I told you to operate all the forms to tag all the forms with the help of a menu here friends today I have created this menu and friends I also told you that I will design the forms later and and today I have finished my designing of forms and created a menu like this first I have taken a label here and I, I type the petrol pump management then I took command uh, and a frame then I took a frame here and within the frame I created I took command button controls 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and I change the level up command button controls like product ledger, daily purchase entry, set sales rate, daily sales entry, consolidated report and exit. Friends, I have created seven forms, but here you can see I have concluded my project with the help of just product, uh, just these forms 1, 2, 3, 4 five just five forms here uh, will serve our project so friends here I have changed the I designed I, I I put the color of the user form here you can see the property here you can see back color option here I can take back color from here I have chosen this color and we can ch also change the color option like this I want this color friends and within the frame similar similarly I took the color this color not this just light lighter from this and we can also color system and, and palette to two tabs here you can see I choose I choose I, I choose the color from this palette. Yes, friends. Thus, we can change the color of the frame, back color of the frame, and then I typed and I take I type the caption and change the font of each command button here. And now, friends, you can see if I run this, the form the menu will look like this, and it uh, and from here I can operate all the forms tagging with the common buttons here so to tag the common buttons the particular form I just see the codes here I just double click here and see unload user form 8 that is our menu I want this to be unloaded first and then our user form 1 dot show this form will be shown here user form 1 and then after sh after that user form 8 dot show th that will be our menu will show again so friends just click here you can see our user form I have already designed the user form 1 like this just changing the back color options and taking levels and typing here and changing the back color of the levels as I required and I also changed the caption of these forms friends that is product ledger where I can create or delete or update update ex uh, the products like petrol diesel mobile if I want if say it was misspelled as petrols let's update update it see petrols instead of petrol has 
come in our list box again i want to change it to its correct form that is pet petrol and update it see petrol has become updated and friends if i click here exit i will go back to our main menu let's see see and for these friends i am see just here just i type unload user form 1 and user form 8 dot show thus friends i have taken all the all the forms tagged with these menu menus and friends if i show you how it works you can see here product ledger here it will be assigned exit and then daily purchase entry form will be opened if i click on the second menu option and if i click here exit then it will go back to our main menu and then set sales rate daily rate will be set here before selling our items and then exit our main menu and daily and daily sales entry here i can sell e each item i want if i want to sell anything i just need to type the quantity and rate and then friends diesel you can say if i want to print just here i can here you can see the print preview option and if i close this our form will be loaded and exit here like this and all this done with a very simple manner friends like this you can say set say daily purchase entry say the purchase entry form here it will be it has been tagged just like this unload user form 8 and user form 2 dot show and then again our user form 8 menu will be shown like this i have tagged this form with the with this and set daily sales rate just see here this form daily sales rate form 5 has been tagged with with this you can see here unload user form 8 user form 5 dot show to tag any forms with menu we just want to show we just need to show the forms with the click event of the menu like this then after showing our user form after completing the task our user form we will go back to our menu okay and like this i have shown our required forms i did not take these forms friends i i think i it is not so much required as this form will do the purpose of that form so friends here if i want to generate report i can also generate report with the help of this menu see friends this forms name is user form 7 and here consolidated report you can see user form 7 dot show unload first the form that is our menu and then this form will be loaded and again the main menu will be shown thus friends i have tagged all the required forms with this menu so friends let's run this and check our program is running or not if i want to sell if i want to set a rate set rate that is uh, for today i i i can set a rate for petrol is rupees say 90 i if i add today's rate and then i need to sell product and going back and i want to daily sales entry and if i want to sell petrol you can see our rate has come automatically as you can see it has been set as 23rd that is rupees 6 that is 23rd it has been and friends if i want to exit just going back consolidated report petrol i want to sorry exit i want to daily sell here petrol say 90 today's rate is 90 and if i 
cell 50 liters add or our our product has been sold at the rate 90 and if I want to print I can pr print here like this thus friends just exit and coming to the main menu here and I want here the consolidated report like this say if I want a report from 21st 11 2017 uh, 2019 see friends we have to type this format dd mm and yy like this and say 24 11 2019 if I want to show this report monthly report then click the monthly report here here you can see the our monthly report and product ID with name quantity purchase total amount of purchase quantity sold amount total amount of sold and stocks is being displayed here and if I close this our our th this form will be displayed again and friends if I want to print I need to print option click on the print option here I have written the codes you can see just I am I will show you exit just know this form here print just print out instead of print preview I have written print out friends you can see the forms and here friends just see see the green green stars within the green code green star I just for the print preview here after next here I have added this or in our in our forms user forms 7 in in your 7 and month report section at the bottom I have added this and similarly this is this will be the our print button I have created a print button here to print with this button so just print out for printing and print preview for print pre for print preview to see the preview and common button 3 that is exit that means it has been unloaded the exist current form has been unloaded and user form 8 that is the main menu is being shown here and friends in the initialize event I just blanked two text boxes so that it looks better thus friends all are remain same all are remain same in the user form 7 here you can see thus friends I have created this menu and designed our user forms as per requirement and to run this friends just going back and I want application dot visible dot false is equal to false and it will state show our user form 8 here you can see <coughs> if I run this if I run the file if I run this workbook it will directly show our user form 8 that is our main menu so user for here I have written this workbook workbook you can see dot open procedure I have added two lines of code that is application dot visible is equal to false that means excel application will be will not be shown and user form 8 dot show will be shown that is user form that is our main menu will be shown and friends we have to remind it we have to keep it in our mind when uh, we want to print out or something like that we need to visible the application so that it runs smoothly and for this friends I have just added its initialized section we can see application dot visible is equal to true here otherwise our report will not be printed will not be previewed ok friends let's save this and run this from the from the here this is our main work workbook friends and if I run this just option going here enable this content and here you can see just save it for this moment and if I run this and if I act active this here sheet 4 
blank sheet can be activated to log uh, to see the to view this more more uh, mm, say relevant and friends here from here i can run this total project that is daily purchase if i purchase anything like this quantity say 50 petrol and rate say 75 rupees and add here so and going back i i i, I you from purchase daily purchase i i need i need to go back with the exit button here i can click here and set sales report i have already set the report for petrol that is rupees 90 for today's that is that is 24th you can see here in the last and if i here i said that it uh, diesel is 70 say 70 and for this date that is 24th november add this and now you exit from here and if i want to want to sell diesel see see our rate has come automatically and for this friend i have just i have just see the user form just added here set rate here to add here friends you can see in the initialize event in the initialize event you can see user form 5 <coughs> you can see like this this code i have already shown this code earlier and say add today's list here here this here you can see the date friends only it, uh, it will be the date so that our today's rate comes automatically while selling the items in the uh, through the user form that is daily sales here friends i need to add our daily rate with this date option only there is no formatting is required here friends just see this the so just little modifications has been done friends and my main objective is here in this report in this uh, uh, in this in this say in this practice is to create a menu from where we can operate all the user forms so let's run this again and friends i, I can also protect this sheet with passwords if we require i can uh, i will show you in my later videos how to protect this password behind the menu so there there will be no unauthorized modification of this data here you can see here don't save there will be no modification of this data by unauthorized persons so for this time i kept it like this and see friends here i have created this menu just i for this i have taken a user form and took some command button controls and levels just take just giving the back colors and front colors options it is very easy to design this menu and it is also easy to tag all the required forms with the menus so friends thank you very much for viewing this and just practice this and try to make your own project and it will be a great joy to making or creating a project any project so friends thank you so much again please subscribe this channel and it will be a great boost for us thank you friends thank you very much